What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Jared Scott back with another video, man. It's a new season, man. We back. We going hard, man. I'm going hard for these next couple months. We gotta get this shit pumping. All right, man. So for today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys really the fundamentals on how to catch a football. I'm gonna ask you guys a question. I need an answer. Drop it in the comments. How do you catch a football? What's the most important thing when it comes to catching a football? Y'all got an answer? Drop it in the comments. Let me know right now. I'm gonna go ahead and answer it most important thing when catching a football is your eyes you got to be able to look at the ball you got to be able to catch the ball with your eyes your hands yeah you're gonna use your hands to catch it but if you're not looking at the ball chances are you're not gonna catch the ball. so we got to start with making sure that you're able to track the ball with your eyes making sure you're looking to catch looking the ball into the tuck that way you can secure the catch and get some yards out the catch so that is the single most important thing when it comes to catching the football using your eyes so remember that if somebody asks you how you catch a football tell them with your eyes so whenever you catch the ball make sure you're tracking the ball make sure you're looking at it and make sure you're catching it through the tuck so i'm gonna give you a brief example on how that works i'm gonna have Charlie right here throw me the ball and i'm gonna show you so just watch watch what my eyes do in this situation here catch it and then i'm catching it and i'm tracking it all the way to the tuck so you a lot of people so what a lot of people do is when they run a route, so let's say I'm running, who dig route? They'll, they'll go and they'll just, they'll just turn without tucking the ball. They'll just turn, they don't look it all the way through the tuck, but you wanna make sure you're running that dig route. Boom, all the way to the tuck. Then you go, make sure it's secure, then you out of there like that. That's the first main thing. So that's one thing you guys need to work on. Make sure you're, it could be a regular catch. It could be, he could be two yards away just throwing your ball. Cause this is really a eye training technique drill. So you just wanna make sure tracking the ball through the tuck. If you got words on your ball, you want to be able to read the ball every time you catch the ball. So that's basically step one of really how to catch a ball. Make sure you're using your eyes, boom. Here, now you can make all your moves because you got the ball secured, it's tucked away, and you're good. All right, so for the first catching technique, we're going to work on the diamond technique. You want to make sure in this type of situation, you're going to be catching balls when the ball's in front of you, or you're catching dig routes in front of you like this. Same thing over here, stuff like that. So. It'll be, it's just, it's the basic catching technique for the, when the ball's in front of you is what I'm trying to say. So pretty much, so give me a toss. So you want to use the diamond technique. You want your hands to be set up. Because it, it gives, it gives the most surface area for your hands. And then it, it allows the point of the ball to go in between that little hole. That way you just have the optimal catching surface for the ball. So make sure you're looking the ball all the way into the tuck like we were talking about before. Because you want to always train your eyes because that's one thing that a lot of people uh, don't really take seriously is the eye training. So make sure you're looking all the way to the tuck. That way you can secure the catch and then get some yards after. See, I got the diamond. I got my hands up in the diamond. I'm catching to the tuck. I'm looking, tracking the ball all the way to the tuck, making sure I'm securing it. That way I can get some yards of the catch. Because you won't be able to get yards of the catch if you're not securing the catch. Somebody can come and hit you as soon as you try to catch the ball. And if you're not tracking it all the way into the tuck, the ball is coming out. Incomplete pass. And the next one is going to be when you have over the shoulder passes and you want to use your pinkies together. So over the shoulder pass, let's say you got a fade route or a go route. You want your hands to be out. You want them to be up above your eyes and you want your pinkies to be together. When your hands are above your eyes, you're able to track it in this motion right here. Like your head, you see my head's turning. You're able to track it. If, if your hands are down here, you won't be able to see where the ball is falling. So you'll lose it. So you want your hands high. That way you're able to see the ball come from the air to your hands and then you bring it down. I'll show you some drills you could do to practice this. You see how I'm able to track the ball over my shoulder into my hands. You want your pinkies to be together that way you have a central location for the ball to follow. And it's easy to track when your hands are high, that way you won't have to dip your head and track it on the ground because you won't know where it falls. All right, so for the last thing you want to do for catching is make sure you have proper arm extension. You don't want an alligator arm. A lot of people go run, throw me with the throwing pass. They'll try to catch it here. And if, you're, if a DB's on you, he can easily break that up. So if you got your arms fully extended, it gives you a barrier between you and the defender if he's behind you. He's not going to be able to get to the ball because it's out far. But if it's here, he can come and, you know, break it break it off and again, make an incomplete pass. And that's, and, that's, and that's points on him. So you want to make sure you have good arm extension. You're keeping, that, you're keeping that distance between you and the DB. 
And the same goes for when you're running uh, crossing routes, stuff like that. Full extension, keeping distance between you and the cornerback, or the ball and the cornerback, that way uh, he can't break it up, essentially. Always want to work on full extension tracking, all the way to the tuck. Same thing going this way. Because if the DB's on your back, he's not going to be able to break that up. Especially if your eyes are in the tuck. In the same way for the over the shoulder. So it's easy to alligator arm or an over the shoulder because if the DB's on you, they can just reach over. So over the shoulder alligator arm would be like something like that. Something like that. You see how close it is to my body and I'm catching it? Maybe can put his arm in there, get it out, just like that. So if you if you're able to track the ball, if you're able to track the ball, time it up, slow your slow your route down, and just make sure you keep that distance with the ball and the DB. You see how it's fully extended now. It's harder for him to break that pass up because he has to go through however long your arm is, your body, and chances are he won't be able to reach it unless he has the super, super long arms. So arm extension is the last important thing that I wanted to just make sure you guys understand. All right, so to sum everything up, like I said before, we started out with the eye technique, catching with your eyes, making sure you're looking through the tuck. Here, here. You wanna make sure that you're tracking the ball with your eyes, you're not blinking, you're not closing your eyes. You're looking at it, you're reading, if there's words about you're reading them, all the way to the tuck. Then your eyes up, then you're making moves. Uh, the second thing is the diamond technique. The diamond technique, he's throwing the ball, you're doing a curl route, you're catching it with your diamond hands. Here, diamond hands all the way to the tuck, eyes. Remember eye technique, we're still looking through the eyes. So over the shoulder, you wanna have your pinkies together, hands up high. That way it's easier to track all the way, eyes to the tuck. One more time for the pinkies. Hands high, you can track all the way to the tuck. And last but not least, the arm extension. And that just helps you uh, just increase your catching percentages when you got the DB on your back. Keeping those arms extended. That way you just got an extra barrier for the DB. That way it's just a lot of room in between you and the DB. It gives them less of a chance to break up that pass. So that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you guys are practicing using your eyes when you're catching the football, using that diamond technique, using that pinky technique for over the shoulder, and just using, making sure you got your arms fully extended. Don't alligator arm, don't catch with your body like this. Uh, just make sure you're practicing that technique because there will be times in games where in practice where you will need to know these techniques because they will help you increase your catching percentage. So that's, that's gonna sum up the video on how to catch a football. Stay tuned, I'm gonna uh, make a video on how to improve your catching, how to increase your catch rate. So just stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, and share it. There are a lot of people who might need to see this video. Subscribe to the channel, I appreciate you guys, I'll see you in the next one, peace.